Hey guys, this is Veron from Speak of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome me back to my channel because I haven't been here in a while and haven't been really making any videos for four weeks maybe. Um, sort of. Anyway, if anyone has been wondering or curious I guess why I haven't been uploading, I'll be explaining that real quick. Um, But where do I start? Okay, before we jump into that, uh, we are doing the Flores series Myosotis, I think is how it's said. Um, it's also known as the Forget Me Not. It is supposed to be the Flores series for oh, no for September, but because of the motivation and block I experienced, I actually had the piece finished um, right in time for the middle of September, but I didn't edit the video until today. So. The flowers for September were supposed to be the Aster and the Forget-Me-Not, which is what we're doing. The flowers for September supposedly symbolize patience, daintiness, remembrance, deep love, magic, and affection. So, I sort of focused a bit more on the magic key part because I felt like it was quite unique for a flower theme. The other florist series flowers that I've encountered usually focus around love and... Um, daintiness and affection and stuff like that, which is sort of understandable, but magic seemed like a unique theme, so I decided to stick with that. I did still try to incorporate the forget-me-not type of feel or vibe by making the piece look a little bit more ethereal. Um, I certainly could have done better in terms of colors and stuff trying if I wanted to get that theme a bit more... Um, obvious in the piece but uh, I'm in a bit of a art block of sorts so uh, that's the best I could do at the time. So anyway, let's actually talk about where I've been. So maybe two weeks ago I uploaded the Fate Kuhula and Caster fan art which is in watercolor. I suggest you check it out because I am still pretty proud of that piece. It's my usual watercolor drawing but I like it. Um, but before that, I was gone for two weeks yet again. So, in the two weeks before the Kuhulang Caster fan art, I hit a bit of a motivation block regarding my art or anything creative for that matter. I would be able to submit work for, I mean like works for work, which is graphic design, but I didn't have much motivation to work for my personal hobbies, which is this drawing and I usually this is sort of an annually annual event for me usually within September October November I hit a bit of a motivation block where I sort of lose steam for anything creative I guess um, I don't have much energy or motivation to draw to paint to do anything creative-ish, I think. Like, even video editing didn't appeal to me at that time. So, that's what hit me in that two weeks before the Kululan Caster fan art. It's not that it's an art block. It's just, I have a lot of ideas. Because art block usually means um, you don't have any ideas of what to draw. And even if you want to draw, you couldn't. You don't know what to draw and you have nothing to draw. But me, just more of, I do have ideas of things I could draw, that I want to draw, that I have planned, things that I think would make good videos, sort of, but I didn't have the motivation to work on it. Uh, it could be burnout somewhat, maybe, I'm not really sure either, but yeah, I just didn't have the energy for it. And I sort of realized I was gone for two weeks already, I forced myself somewhat to do the Kufu Lancaster fan art. Which I really enjoyed because, like, Kuhulan's one of my more favorite characters. And I've been do meaning to do fan art of him for a little bit already. So, when I did that, I, I was enjoying the process. I was having fun again. Even video editing was a breeze for me for that. So, I assumed that I'd be able to upload and work on stuff again consistently. I think I mentioned in the video or maybe even maybe in the what you call that video description that I was coming back maybe. But that didn't turn out to be the case. I was gone for another two weeks. Somewhat for the same reason as the first time. 
but also because I got distracted with Cosmania. So Cosmania or Cosmania is one of the bigger anime cons here in the Philippines. It was held last uh, September 29, 2829, 2829, I think. So I was there on the first day. And I actually went there in cosplay with my friends. I was there as Kyo Fajiro from Boku no Hero Academia. My friends also cosplayed some of um, their characters. We met a lot of cosplayers who also cosplayed from that series. I was one of the two Jiros, I think, in that on that day on, on day one on Saturday. So I think there was just two of us because I didn't see anyone else with the earphone jack thing. But for a solid month, actually, or even the two weeks before the actual con, I was spending a lot of time just preparing and planning on how and what I need for my costume. So that it was pretty simple. If you know if you know Jiro from Boku no Hero, uh, her outfit is basically just a leather jacket, a pink shirt, black pants, black boots, and a certain hairstyle. The thing that's unique or that you need to make no matter what you do is the earphone parts of her her earlobes that are ear jacks basically. So I made that and then I took my blue headphones that have been with me since forever already. I made some foam stuff and put like the little um, decoration that she has on her headphones. I made, uh, I bought some gloves, made it into fingerless gloves. I made the speakers that are on her, that are on her wrists. I made also like detachable, uh, it's not really armor, but it's like it's supposed to look like the speakers on her boots, so I made that also. So, for a solid two, two weeks, and especially the week before the actual con, as, the, as devoting a lot of my creative energy into working on that, I should have actually recorded what I was doing since that was pretty fun to be honest, and it took a lot of time. And it was actually one of the things that forced me to, despite being tired from work, like I come home around 8 or 9 sometimes, depending on the traffic, I still would push myself to sit up, get out of bed, and work on it for an hour or two, and then go to bed, go to work, rinse, repeat, until it was done. I should have recorded it, man. I was silly. I didn't record my process. So that's where all my creative energy went for the two weeks after the Kuhulan Caster fan art. Mm, it didn't really leave me much room to draw or to paint, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I am sort of still a bit in that funk. I was sort of convincing myself since Friday to get up and draw, go to your, go to your desk, get pick out colored pencils, get your watercolors out or something, or even take your tablet out and draw, but I just ended up mostly in bed, playing games. <laughs> I should damn you fake hand order. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just in a bit of a creative rut, motivation rut, I think. I'll be back soon, because I do tend to turn to art when I'm super stressed. And I'm pretty sure I'll be stressed very soon because of quarter four. And it's the Christmas season, and I'm in marketing, so that's gonna be a ride. <laughs> so I'll probably start sketching and drawing again out of pure stress and stress relief. So that would, in turn, produce videos. So, hey, positive outcome. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's fine. Um, I guess most people, even I, I get frustrated when I get in this, into this rut where I couldn't draw, I couldn't produce anything. Um, I just think I'm making, making excuses that I'm not making time for art, but I think taking a break is fine rather than trying to wear myself out to the point that I feel frustrated and like I'm not moving anywhere. I'd rather take a short, fine, not so short, one month break from sketching and drawing and, and video editing than force it. So that's also what happened with this video to be honest. I had my so I had this Flores video done almost right after the Kuhulan one was. So I did work on that and then I worked on this right after. And I had the footage done, everything was done, but I couldn't 
force myself to sit at my desk and edit the footage, record the voiceover and everything. So that's why it's late and it's also why I'm only uploading this now. Yeah, let's hope I'll be back next week. I'm trying to get back into it, but we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, anyway, see you around.